looks like the open source community wins again because we now have a completely free alternative to cloud code. And no, you don't need to have a cloud pro plan for this. Allow me to introduce open code, a powerful AI coding agent built directly within your terminal, just like cloud code and Ader. Now, if you don't know, Anthropic's cloud code was something that was released alongside the Sonnet 3.7 as a developer focused agent directly within your terminal. It lets you build, edit, navigate code bases directly in your terminal, kind of like having an autonomous pair programmer. The only problem is it's locked behind a paywall. The only way you can access it is if you have the pro plan with Anthropic. But that's where open code steps in. This is something that is completely free, offering a local first alternative that doesn't just replicate the cloud code experience. It is something that builds on it. Now, what sets this apart from something like Ader or Cloud Code is that this is an open source tool, obviously, but it's a Go based CLI application that brings AI assistance directly within your terminal. You can see the TUI, the terminal user interface, is something that looks pretty appealing and easy to work with. This is something that will help you interact with various AI models with your different coding tasks. And you can use this for debugging, implementing changes across your overall code base and making changes to anything or even creating something with AI. Before we get started, I just want to mention that you should definitely go ahead and subscribe to the World of AI newsletter. I'm constantly posting different newsletters on a weekly basis. So this is where you can easily get up to date knowledge about what is happening in the AI space. So definitely go ahead and subscribe as this is completely for free. It's built with Bubble Tea for the smooth terminal experience. You have different multiple AI providers from OpenAI all the way to something like OpenRouter where you can get free APIs. So this whole process would be completely free. Session management where you can save and manage multi-conversation sessions. Tool integrations. You also have the ability, I believe, to integrate MCPs which is going to allow you to enhance the AI's capability even further. Wim like editors. You have persistent storage with SQL database for storing conversations, LSP integration, file change tracking, and so much more. Now guys, if you're looking to install this, there's a couple of methods for different operating systems. You can use Homebrew if you're on Mac OS or Linux, but if you're on Windows, obviously you can use WSL or you can use the Go packages. In this case, since I'm gonna be using WSL, I want you to open it up if you're on Windows, but obviously if you're on Mac OS or Linux, do it for whatever command prompt you have. Now, first things first, you wanna make sure you use the curl uh, install link or the command which is over here so copy this and then you can head over into WSL and paste this in and click enter this is going to start installing the actual packages for open code onto your computer so it'll take a couple seconds and once it's fully added to your path you can then proceed forward now what we want to do next is use the nano command within WSL and this is to create our configuration file because they say that you should be creating this opencode.json configuration file so that you can then paste in your environment variables. Now you have a lot of options. You can have it so that you can use Anthropic API key, open AI, and much more. For the configuration file structure, you wanna follow through with the following. If you wanna keep a certain provider on, make sure you keep this true. And it's super simple. Let me just showcase an example. You copy this into the nano file and then paste this in. And obviously, if you do not want to use a certain model provider, make sure you set this as false. And then if you're going to be using something like Open Router, where you can get the free model, then obviously enable it as true and then provide your API key. There's a lot of free models that you can use on off of Open Router, like the DeepSeek R1 or even the Google models. So if you're interested in doing that, make sure you get the key from Open Router and set this as your provider because you're going to be able to get great uh, generations out of this and guys if you want to use any sort of mcp server you can set the configurations with the config json file that is created within the nano in wsl so just to showcase the best generations i'm going to be using the anthropic model with the anthropic api key and in this case i have set it to true so it will actually use this provider and now once finished you can then press Control x if you're on wsl and then this will allow you to save the edits that you have made within nano and then you can then uh, add the file to wherever you have set the path which is in this case my username and then the open code.json file now guys if you're having troubles you can obviously just open up the open code.json file and set the api keys here rather than doing it within the terminal because i know it could be a little difficult 
But now that I have set my API key, to open this up, just simply run the open code command. You can start with the debug login, or you can start with the specific working directory by setting the path. But I simply open it up, and this is where it's going to open this page up. You can see the Cloud4 Sonnet is running at the moment. And right now, it is going to initialize it's a random project. So I'm going to click yes. But you can see there's a lot of different commands that you can use from logs all the way to debugging a new session. And then you also have the ability to manage new models. So if you want, you can actually select multiple models within the open code terminal. So if I press control O, you can see there's different cloud models I can use. Obviously, it's only going to show the cloud models because I only set the Anthropic API key. But this is perfect because you can actually have it so that you can have a reasoning model used for the planning steps and then a coding model like Cloud4 Opus to execute those different planning steps. And just like that, there's so many different prompts that you can use to debug all the way to making changes and editing things. You can even allow automated uh, responses, also have it so that it autonomously makes changes across files, which I wouldn't recommend doing in this case. Now, ideally, guys, for open code, you want to make sure that you have it so that you have it added to a selected path. So this way it can initialize all the different changes that it needs within a desired path. And you can see right now that I'm creating the solar system visualizer app and it's going to be chaotic because it's going to just save files randomly in different directories. So you can see right here, this is actually a cool feature where you can allow permissions to execute something like creating a new file. But overall, it is better if you initialize the open code uh, pair programmer within a desired path so that it can make the desired changes within only that path and not something else. But this is just an example to showcase what you can actually do with it, showcase the actual user interface with it and the capabilities of open code. So in this case, let's see what it's capable of doing in terms of creating this solar system visualizer app that is 3D and has a lot of features. And there we go. We have our solar system uh, 3D visualizer fully generated and you can change the actual animation speed. This was all done within a couple of seconds with the help of open code. If you like this video and would love to support the channel, you can consider donating to my channel through the super thanks option below. Or you can consider joining our private discord where you can access multiple subscriptions to different AI tools for free on a monthly basis, plus daily AI news and exclusive content, plus a lot more. Now, in comparison to Claude Code or something like Ader, you can see that this is something that is pretty sleek and super easy to use, especially with all of its new commands. It is something where you can easily add in, initialize a project with a single click, or you can have it so that there's a compact conversation that summarizes the current session to save tokens. There's so much more flexibility that you get from this, and this is why I would highly recommend using this over something like code and this actually being something that is free you also have the ability to create new sessions pretty quickly it is super easy to manage everything that is happening and there's actually a way for you to actually create and change new themes and new commands as well so i highly recommend that you take a look at their github repo so you get a better idea but that's basically it guys for today's video on open code this is something that i highly recommend that you're using as a pair programmer hard by whatever API that you want to use. But that's basically it, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe to the second channel. Follow me on the newsletter. Join our Discord. Follow me on Twitter. And lastly, make sure you guys subscribe. Turn on the notification bell. Like this video. And please take a look at our previous videos because there's a lot of content that you will truly benefit from. But with that thought, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Have an amazing day. Spread positivity. And I'll see you guys fairly shortly. Peace out, fellas.